okay so good evening all of you let's start first of all before starting i want to know how many of you have actually practiced in all these days how many you've actually tried out sums okay i can see a few hands quite some hands raised great i hope most of you have tried i hope all of you would have tried because it's quite a long time since we had the previous class and it's very very important that you all practice regularly in ms word since for most of you i think it will be the first paper and cm1 is a paper which is very heavy on mathematical typing so it is important that you start practicing a little before so that you get the hang of it by the time the exam comes so last class we had uh, discussed the general things and we had uh, solved three questions from the specimen paper we will move on to the fourth question but before that i want you all to see a uh, an actual answer script which i have called for from one candidate who had appeared in the april term april 21 term so i want you all to have a look at how she has approached the examination because obviously it is important that maybe at home when you are practicing you are not under the exam pressure and you are not bounded by time but when you are actually writing the exam things might not turn out to be as smooth as it was during your practice so that's why it's important that you also have a look at um, it's important that you all have a look at how the actual exam paper turns out to be and what you all think that uh, there are certain features about every answer script which is important that you all notice that all these problems might be faced during the examination right okay so first of all very important on the header and the footer the footer you all can uh, avoid also or you all can let it be but definitely in the header your paper name and your diet uh, for you it will be april 2022 the diet and the paper name should be present on the header do not mention your arn in the header anymore because now they have changed the rules only in the file name you are supposed to mention the arn and uh, one more very big thing one of the students had uh, asked me this so i'm just repeating it please make sure you are not making use of the dictation feature in ms word or you are not making use of any writing uh, writing objects for example if you have uh, any pen for your laptop don't use that because all those things are strictly prohibited by the institute you can only use your keyboard to type no shortcuts such as uh, maybe you can use save equations no no saving equations no uh, copy pasting equations from anywhere else no using pens no using dictation and uh, no using what do i say uh, you cannot uh, pen is there yeah mainly this mainly it's this only so first of all every question in a new page as you all can see even she has done the same thing make sure there is proper line spacing over here we can see her line spacing is i think it's around 1.5 so make sure there is adequate line spacing i would say keep it to 2 because it looks even neater after that one more thing as you all can see she has written a small q for the probabilities the q is small but the p's are capital so you all can see that during the exam you might not realize these things right now we are analyzing her paper so we can see but while typing it might not be possible that you are sitting and constantly you are shifting from uh, caps lock in case your caps lock is on so you might not have the time to actually turn it off so it's fine all these small things keep happening as long as they are think for example for the uh, tables if you are using l lx 
LX, you make sure that every time you write LX, it's a capital L and not a small L because the small L very easily gets confused with one and the straight line, the straight bar which we give, it can easily be confused by that. So make sure your capital L's for the lives, uh, lives in force, make sure it's always a capital L. And this they have also mentioned in the, where did it go? This they have also mentioned in the keyboard notations that they have suggested. Yeah. See, the other ones, for, for example, dx is still small d. Px, qx, all of them are in the small case. However, only for the lx and ly, they have used capital cases. Yes, Vedi. Uh, Ma'am, I wanted to ask that you told us to use capital N, L, L and D for the uh, life tables, right? Not but the D, the, cap, uh, the life tables, the mm -hmm. L has to be capital. D can be small. But in the tables book, it's given in small L only. So Exactly. I that. So that, that's why I specifically mentioned it because that's what even they have done. As I showed you, the small L is very easily confusable. So that's why for the... Uh, for only MS word typing. If you would have been giving the exam on pen and paper, you would have used smaller only. But since you're typing and to avoid any sort of confusion, they have also prescribed us to use uh, capital L instead of the smaller. See over here, it's visible, right? They have okay. also said okay. capital L. But for D, D, P, Q, all these things, you all can use the small letters only. All right? Okay, so as you all can see, I have, uh, I will also just open the question paper alongside so that we can go on seeing how many marks and how much of working is being shown. So this question was for four marks. So obviously for four marks, you have to show a minimum of five steps. Minimum of five steps have to be shown for four marks. So as you can see, she has shown one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps. So that's very good that this much you should show in the exams and obviously it also depends on the question so over here uh i think she has shown it quite elaborately i don't think there were any other steps missing just all of you just take a look at it because so that you all know that in your exam how do you have to approach it okay let's move on to the second question is there anything after every question, if you all have any question or any particular thing that you all might notice, please bring it up so that we can discuss it there and there. Okay. Next question involves integration. So, uh, see, as you can see, I, I think I had discussed it with you all or I had discussed it in the general class. I don't remember. I had said that many a times, if there is a lot of typing involved, what they will do is, they will either convert it into an MCQ or they will write the equation and then they might ask you to write the parameters. So this is exactly what they have done in this question. They have given you the integration. So you do not need to sit and type out the integration for this one. Instead, for the th to get the three marks, you all just have to specify the values that you would have written instead of A, B, M, N and Z. Right? So all you have to do here is just write the values because it state the numerical values you all might not show the working you all might show the working of course it's always safer to show the working but in case there is a time constraint you all can skip the working because it's just state had it been show the show what would the numerical values or anything on those lines then the working was obviously important for the second part there was integration so as i had said many of you uh, asked me whether we should use the equation editor for CM1. My opinion would be that try to avoid it completely. Altogether, let the equation editor be because it is much, much, much easier to uh, write the CM1 paper using keyboard notations than using the equation editor. All right. 
so from the beginning if you start practicing with the keyboard uh, with the keyboard notations only then your mind will also gradually get used to reading it in that way because of course what is important after you have done your work you have to check your work as well so for many of us obviously it is very uh, difficult to understand so many words and so many letters written like this so from the beginning if you practice in this way itself and you try to read the read your solutions again and again then you will start getting comfortable with it so that in the exam even if you are writing it and in case you are checking something you do not waste a lot of time in that okay so um again repeating how do we show integration it's always a capital int and then you write the limits inside the first brackets after that you give a colon to show the function which you are integrating and then inside again inside the first brackets you write the function that you are integrating right all of you please make sure that you've seen this portion okay this is very important and this is a place where many people have doubts as to how to type this properly right again very very important thing make sure you're giving the units in every answer so over here we needed the expected present value of the benefit so obviously that will be in some monetary units so over here the sum was in dollars had it been in pounds you would have to either write pounds after the value or you could have inserted the pound symbol from the insert tab here it was just dollars so dollars is available on the keyboard itself with shift and four all right and mostly i think for mathematical uh, because mathematical typing is involved in the questions they will usually give dollars only pounds they used to give when we used to write pen uh, when we used to give exams offline but in online they prefer giving dollars only since it's easier to type third question is uh, one on bonds i think yes it's on bonds so i want you all to see the amount of working that is shown of course if this sum maybe if it would have come offline it would have come for a little fewer marks because all you have to, all this interpolation all this interpolation was not necessary to show in the offline exam but in the online exam it is very important that you even explain your interpolation because you cannot leave any scope for the examiner to think that you might have made use of unfair means right so i also want you all to concentrate on how the interpolation has been explained maybe uh, some of you might choose to write the interpolation equation also but that is not as important as making sure that you are writing the two values which you are getting at 2% and at 1% if you are writing so make sure you write the starting and the ending values and then you can write the interpolated value of course it's better if you all can once type out the interpolation equation and then in the uh, later questions again if you might have to use it you can just copy paste that equation in your other answers as well but please again do not save the interpolation equation in the saved equations and try to use that because they will know from where you have copy pasted it or from where you have uh, taken it on your document so in case you are using the saved equations it will be clear to them okay so please be careful about that um, the second part was a simple theory question so of course this these kind of questions you can expect a lot uh, commenting suggesting etc because that's how they will test your theory they cannot they will usually not ask you direct questions and then see the same thing they have repeated in question 4 also they have simply asked you to write the value of the parameters or the variables instead of making you write so for example if it will have been a, an offline exam they would have just asked you to write uh, what would be the values for a 0 comma t in that case you would have to give this whole bracket and give the exponential and the power everything here all that is not required they have just replaced all of them with variables and you all can easily just write the variables it's for 5 marks 
six variables, no working required at all. Clear? Nominal rate of return. So make sure that the answer contains a percentage sign. Don't just leave it at 6.12 or, or uh, even uh, if you want, what you can do is you can leave it at 0 0.0612. That is still acceptable, but 6.12 is completely unacceptable. And it is always better that you convert it to an actual percentage only. That is the best way to present your answers. One thing that is missing in this document is that the candidate has not mentioned answer or not highlighted the final answer. So as we can see, this is nothing to get penalized. But again, it is important to highlight your answer so that the examiner gets a presentable answer script. Correct? So I would suggest try to keep this in practice that you make the final answer as bold and write ANS at the end of every answer. And same for the question number. Try to keep it bold. Maybe increase the size a little if you want. But definitely try to make it bold. Okay. Number five. Here it is force of mortality. Assuming a rate of interest of 7% per annum. So again, two parts. Make sure you are writing the table name. Make sure you're writing the table name, whichever table you're referring to. You can either write the table name or along with the table name, you can also write the page number in your table book from where you took out the actual value, correct? So for example, this value, this value is from the table book. So you, can, uh, you should ideally write in brackets at, uh, alongside this step from page of It's always better that you write all this, okay? At least in three, four places, you should write it so that the examiner knows that you're taking the effort. Of course, in a CM1 paper, you use so many values from the table. Many times, it is not possible to actually sit and write for everything. But at least three, four places, if you write, the examiner will get a message that you did take the effort of actually listening to them and giving references, right? Make sure that all your, uh, so for example, what do we do over here? We, uh, when writing in pen and paper, we give the uh, box bracket sort of a thing. So of, of obviously in Word, how do you represent this? You will put the N between the two crocodile signs. Less than and greater than signs in each way, you have to write the number. Okay, make sure that this is something that is completely something you cannot miss because this is very important. This is as important as writing D-U-E to show you. It is as important as that. Okay, so make sure these two signs are always there in the second one. Um, at 7%. So last time I, I had showed you all how the difference between superscript may when you write a power or something or super uh, or when you write the interest rate on top there is a difference so for the interest rate you have to write at the rate seven percent you cannot write to the power seven percent that is completely wrong at the rate seven percent because you have to show them what it means when they are reading your answer, it should read as a complete sentence. Okay. So if you write, if you give the carrot sign and write 7%, then what will they read it as? Is equal to this, this, this to the power 7%, which is wrong. It is at the rate 7%. Okay. Very important things in this in this one. In this sum, this at the rate 7%. This part. Okay. And this is actually a question which you can expect in every single CM1 paper. In 90% of the papers, you will see such questions. So these things are very important to keep in mind. Again, this entire step, either of these two steps can be shown. It's not important that you show the, in both the steps completely because obviously this is a lot of value writing. 
So in either of these two steps, you can write. So because basically, your aim is to show the working. Now, either you show it in numericals or you show it as a formula or as an equation. Okay, so either of the two steps is good enough. Second part, again, EA, same thing again, see the N is in between the signs. I don't think there are any L used in this paper. Expected present value of the benefit payments. So, I want you all to download this. I'll, I'll ask Praveen sir to send you all the link to the document so that all of you have access to this table that IFO has given because, of course, it's important. This EA. All these things are important that you all have ready so that you all can practice properly and not make mistakes in these portions. Okay. Or else what I would suggest is, if possible, uh, all of you can just click a picture from here. I think just take a minute and click a picture, either take a screenshot or if you're using your laptops, just take a picture. Yes, Simran. Uh, Ma'am, please tell how to write annually uh, paying in advance using equation editor. This one? No, ma'am. Uh, the next one, maybe. This Basically, one? I have a problem yeah. writing N uh, cap on N. Exactly. That's the reason. Because of the cap on N, you cannot give a cap on N in MS Word. That is the primary reason. This cap on N and the two dots for ADU, these are the main reasons why we, uh, why we recommend that you do not use the equation editor for CMN because there is no provision for giving this cap. Okay. So that's why I cannot help you in this case. What you can do is in the equation editor also, you can give the crocodile signs. That's all you can do. Or you can maybe give a bar on top of N. But my strongest recommendation would be just don't use the equation editor, at least for the ADU sum or any sum that involves the N. If you are more comfortable with the equation editor, then just for these sums, don't use the equation editor. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Achha. All of you, please uh, just take a picture of this portion. This page. Yes, Kunal. Ma'am, can we get this answer sheet? Can we get this? Yes. Actually, what you all should do is I will just show you all how to download it from the website itself. You all can just go to the IFOA website. In the studying section. Prepare for your exams. I don't know where they have put it now. Although it was in this section only. Okay. 
and do one thing i will just uh, forward the pdf i have the pdf downloaded with me so i will just forward it to you and uh, get it sent on the cmn group itself i think that will be better okay i will just get the pdf sent but for now at least have a look at this so that you all know what the ea in this answer for example term assurance ea right these things are important because i'm sure while giving the while practicing also if you all have come across these sums then of course you all will be wondering how to differentiate between the different a's so instead of actually giving these different sing symbols instead of writing a box bracket uh, instead of writing this one or maybe <laughs> instead of writing how do you differentiate between endowment and term so this table is strictly to be followed for the cman paper for all the uh, insurance related questions make sure that only these notations can be followed there is absolutely no other way to write these don't try to use the equation enter because it will get messy after a point of time so just stick to these okay again at the rate 6% over here for example the she hasn't mentioned the table which she is using which is am92 ultimate right so you all make sure that you all mention the table which you are using and again in the answer the unit is very very important you are also the same thing for the profit testing sum and everything you all can make use of excel you all can solve the sum on excel and then was there profit testing in this paper there is no profit testing in this paper but for profit testing just like the way you all solve it on uh, excel for the paper b you all can do it in the same way and then you all can copy paste it and explain at least one one calculation from each column or from each row okay make sure that you explain it as long as you are explaining there is absolutely no harm in doing anything in the paper and in the rest of the questions are just similar is there anything that you all are noticing in the paper that maybe it didn't strike you earlier anything are there any problems that you all faced while practicing the questions no problems faced while practicing questions at home or if you could easily type type out the answers on ms word can't we make table for profit test in word itself of course you can see if you are doing it on word itself that is better than anything because that is something that would normally come to your mind but i am saying that in case some of you want to make use of excel to make the calculations easier or use formulas for the calculation in that case it is allowed to use it to make use of excel of course if you want to do it directly in word that is definitely allowed
I don't think there's anything else in this paper. But uh, this specimen paper, I want to do that with you all. The last question that was left. Please tell me, is there anything else in this paper that you all have any doubts regarding or anything that you want me to explain again? Um, Ma'am, can you tell us the approximately number of questions which come in paper A for MS Word? The approximate number of questions. Yeah, so the approximate number of questions in mostly all the papers, it is, uh, let's say, around 11. 10 to 12, I would say. Usually 10 to 12 questions only come. It de but okay. it depends what's the marks, the mark distribution for the questions that you all rest, be rest assured that they will provide further typing effort also in all the questions that do require it, or they will make some amends in the question. So don't worry about that. And I think there was no MCQ in this paper, right? So as I said, it's not just for CS2, CM2. It is for any paper, they might or might not give MCQs. It's completely up to them. So don't sit for the exam with the expectation that you will be faced by MCQs. It's not necessary. You just have to give the exam no matter whatever question they give you. Okay. So just the last question. A life insurance company issues 25 year decreasing term assurance policies to lives aged 40 exact. So it's term assurance. Of course, you have to use TA and not just A with the one or the T anything. The death benefit payable at the end of the year of death is $500,000 in the first year, $480,000 in the second policy year, thereafter reducing by $20,000 each year until the benefit is $20,000 in the 25th and final policy year. Premiums are payable annually in advance for 25 years or until earlier death. Show that the annual premium per policy is approximately $643 using the basis below. So again, AM 92 ultimate and 4% per annum. So make sure you, uh, for AM 92, actually, I think since AM 92 is such a common table, you can just write using AM 92 table. You just don't need to mention the page number. And for the 4%, of course, you have to write at the rate 4% everywhere. I can't see where they have written it. But you make sure because they have specified it that 4% should be mentioned or whatever interest rate <coughs> you're using, it should be mentioned with an other rate, okay? One more thing in the specimen paper, they have used X's instead of the multiplication, uh, for the multiplication signs. You all stick to using the asterisks because of course the X can be confusing with other things. Um, the N should be in the sign. Uh, in the two crocodile, crocodile signs. So just have a look at the solution ones, what they have given. WL again for whole life, IA for increasing assurances. So make sure that these things are present in your paper and you all don't miss out on these things because it is very easy that while typing, you all can just skip out on the, uh, let's say, if you're writing endowment assurance, you all just might skip on the E. Because usually what do we write? While writing, in, uh, while writing on paper, we just write A. So it might so happen you just type the capital A and the rest of the details. But make sure you practice loads and loads so that you don't make this mistake and you write the A as EA in MS Word. Okay? So is there anything else that you all want to discuss specifically in typing for CM1? Any other aspect that you all think I might have skipped? Otherwise, what I want you all to do is I want you all to, uh, let's say, I think 
which term paper do you all want to solve in MS Word? And then in the next class, we will be discussing that term paper. I think let's go with, I showed you all the April 21 term. I want you to try the September 21 term paper. Are you, are most of you, I think, are nearly done with the syllabus for CM1 or maybe definitely 60 to 70 percent is done. So what I want you all to do is I want you all to practice the September 21 paper on MS Word and come for the next class. I will give you ample amount of time. And in case, in case there is any question that you all don't know how to solve, skip that, do the other questions. Because it's fine, you're not sit, uh, you're not typing this for making sure that you are fast or anything right now. The speed we will concentrate on a little later once you all have had practice. For now, it's important that you all get used to it. Okay, so um, make sure that all of you do it. And along with that, of course, as I had said, every day, a minimum of two to three sums on MS Word should be solved, different variety of sums so that you all can make sure that all of you are aware of what kind of questions can come in MS Word, okay? Anything else, anyone, any questions? So we'll end here today. Thank you all of you.